Rural health care across the country is in crisis. Facilities are closing left and right. Here in Nebraska, many are running on a razor thin budget. One is closed in the last five years. Investigative reporter Jeff Van Sant looked into what's happening and joins us live with more. Jeff? Yeah, health care is a complex issue. Over the last 10 years, policies and funding changes have hit rural health care centers hard. Some of these facilities have been running in the red, others barely making a profit. <laughs> the grapes are loving it right now. Wine is something Max McFarland loves. It's a passion. Well, this is a French American hybrid that grows quite well out here. A lot of green grapes. Those are going to be red here in about two weeks. His wine, Max Creek, sells across the state. His vineyard is in the small town of Lexington. It's 80 some degrees in the daytime and 60 some degrees at, at night. And, uh, you know, tongue in cheek, we, we say that's Napa weather. Max dreams nearly came to an end some years back. I, I woke up and I, I felt some discomfort and some pressure in my chest and I thought I had pulled a muscle. It was much worse. A heart attack. Luckily, a hospital is just five minutes away. And I mean, everybody just just clicked <laughs> like a well-oiled machine. Max got the care he needed, surviving his ordeal. He thanks the Lexington Regional Health Center for his survival. It, it was just phenomenal. And if I hadn't been within five minutes of that place, I wouldn't be talking to you today. Every second counts in an emergency. In Lexington, it's a community of about 10,000 people. Its biggest employer is this meatpacking plant. This hospital is the sole provider for this rural community. The nearest comparable facility is more than 30 miles away. So you can see its importance for this area is unquestionable. We're a critical access hospital and we so that we have 25 beds. Leslie Marsh is the chief executive officer. We see a lot of, you know, trauma from the ag world, from t industrial accidents. In smaller hospitals like this, the staff have to be a jack of all trades. Hi, Crystal. Dr. Francisca Acosta Carlson always has her hands full, ready for a call to come in at any hour. It's busy and definitely can be surprising some days because you never know what's going to come across. And depending on what I'm doing, I mean, it could be in the emergency room, it could be uh, in the hospital, it could be in the clinic. For a hospital with such a big job, when it comes to the budget, it's a struggle. We're just barely, you know, making it. This year we'll have our uh, positive margin, a slightly, po slightly positive margin, not even 1%. This after several years of running in the red. We're not making a lot of money, but we have to meet our, you know, our operational costs. This story of a rural health center struggling isn't unique. Uh, over the last four or five years, we've really seen a downturn in the operating margins of those rural hospitals in Nebraska. John Roberts is the head of the Nebraska Rural Health Association. He says one facility has closed in the state in the last five years. Nebraska is faring better than other states across the country. Some states have really been decimated. Tennessee has lost 12. Uh, Georgia has lost about eight. Um, and it, in addition to that, we've got about 700 that we would get classify as financially stressed. The uptick in closures is the result of several factors, including declining populations, federal sequestration of more than 2% across the board, and changes in Medicaid and Medicare under the Affordable Care Act. They cut about $350 billion from hospitals and physicians to pay for that new expanded coverage. Um, Medicaid expansion was supposed to kind of offset it because you'd have more people that were insured. And so the th thought was there'd be less uninsured and charity care for hospitals. According to the Nebraska Rural Health Association, there's 71 rural health care facilities in the state. 39 are running on an operating margin of just 2%. 29 are running in the red. And the trend is getting worse. I've challenged some of the administrators to reassess their business plan. Just doing things the way they've always done them before and depending on Medicaid rates to rise enough to pay for that probably isn't good enough today. State Senator Matt Williams along with other state leaders are working towards helping these rural facilities. 
I'm hopeful that we can improve the provider rates for Medicaid a little bit, but creating other programs right now with our budget shortfalls are, are certainly problematic. Some politicians in Nebraska and Iowa are trying to cut through some of the regulations that increase costs for rural health facilities, but nothing is set in stone. As for a facility like Lexington Regional Health Center, its leadership knows Washington politics can change at any moment, from funding to regulations. They have to keep all this in mind to keep their facility afloat. As we learned with Max, if he hadn't have had the health care access that he had, he wouldn't be here. But today, he's expanding his business, adding a brewery, and the thought of losing a critical access hospital so close is terrifying. It would be catastrophic to our community, our, the whole area here, I think. Uh, uh, not only, I mean, sure, it employs a lot of people and, and all that, uh, the economics of the thing, but, uh, you know, we are at least 45 minutes away from a, uh, a larger hospital, and that's about uh, 40 more minutes than I probably had. Now, next week, we travel to a tiny town of Binkelman, a community of just over 900 people. Their critical access hospital is the main employer in town. It's a budget so tight it needs donations to keep operating. Reporting in the studio, Jeff Van Sant, 3 News Now. Thanks, Jeff. If you have a story you'd like the investigative team to look into, email them at investigate at 3newsnow.com.